What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about the Xbox Scorpio and what they're touting as the only console that will be able to do true 4K gaming and high fidelity VR. Now, the thing that kind of irritates me about these types of articles is we don't know what the Xbox Scorpio actually is yet. It's a lot of rumor, conjecture, speculation, and of course, uh, beefing up the Xbox brand by Xbox fans. And I don't have any issue with that. But until we actually see it, until we actually see actual real tangible specs, it's still all theory at this point. When Microsoft comes out and says this thing is going to do 4K native 60 frames per second, of course our brains explode because it's just almost not a reality at this point. But this 6 teraflops, that could be the the pivot that could be the deciding factor of whether or not it's a possibility but of course we haven't seen it yet and of course people with high powered PCs some of them at that 6 teraflop range still are having issues seeing 4k at 60 frames so whether or not this console will actually be able to do it time will tell but if they utilize any of the tricks that Sony's using with the PlayStation Pro they probably will be able to attain this with no issue at all but I'll drop a link in the description Microsoft on Xbox One Scorpio the only console that can do true 4K and high fidelity VR. Don't let anyone tell you the console wars aren't alive and well. For the most part, the two leading consoles in 2016, the PS4 and the Xbox One, exist in a state of being nearly identical. Many of the same games appear on each system, they boast almost the same features and are roughly the same price. In many ways, the last great console rivalry was the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. That was an age when companies would directly call each other out in ad campaigns and commercials. We aren't seeing a return to those sorts of tactics, but we are finally entering an age of new rivalries as Sony just recently re released the PlayStation VR headset. This makes it the first and the only home console to offer virtual reality experiences and the likes of Battlezone, Riggs, and Thumper are proving it has what it takes to be a big part of our industry going forward. With the PS4 Pro on the near horizon, those experiences are only going to get sharper, crisper, and even better. But it seems that Microsoft isn't too impressed, even if they don't come right out and say it. Here's a screenshot from the current landing page for its upcoming interactive update on Xbox One codenamed Project Scorpio. It's being designed as a direct rival for the PlayStation Pro. We knew about these general features for a while now, so, so you're likely wondering what the story is here. Well, notice the language. Quote, the first and only console to enable true 4K gaming and high fidelity VR, end quote. Could this be a subtle shot fired at Sony's PSVR and PlayStation 4 Pro? The upcoming PlayStation console upscales content to 4K, but fans were disappointed it doesn't seem to offer it natively for every game, and Sony has reiterated commitment to the standard model console for VR experiences. And in the case of VR, the PSVR is a great headset due to its affordability and ease of use, but it's clearly underpowered when compared to the Rift and Vive. Claiming that the Scorpio will be the quote, first and only console to enable high fidelity VR, end quote, is a bold statement. Based on internet archives, it seems like the website was just updated on October 5th and with new information. For example, look at the comparison between July 31st and October 5th in the archive. Most curious of all though, is that October 5th just so happens to be the same exact day the embargo lifted for reviews of the PSVR headset. Interesting, right? At E3 2016, it was revealed that Fallout 4 VR would be coming to Project Scorpio, though the only headset we know for sure it's appearing on is the HTC Vive. Plus, Microsoft has confirmed that they are not making a first-party headset. Does this mean that the Vive will get Xbox Scorpio support? Or perhaps the existing relationship between Microsoft and Oculus, each rift comes with an Xbox One gamepad, could point to a compatibility there. Either way, we likely won't have to wait too much longer to find out. The console is scheduled to release holiday 2017, meaning we should find out much more next year at trade shows and events such as E3. Nintendo's lack of VR support with the Switch proves that there is a big void that another console competitor in the VR space needs to fill. It's interesting and of course it's fun to hear. You know, the speculation is great. And I mean, and for all intents and purposes, it could be 100% factual information. But right now, we just don't know. And so, I mean, a person could say that their machine, you know, you're going to be able to feel the games or smell, you know, the character's armpit. And But until the technology comes out and you see it, it's really just conjecture. I hope that the Project Scorpio is able to do all this stuff. Who knows whether or not it will. If they do support, like, the, the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift, that's going to really, really, I think, damage the Scorpio, first of all. The Scorpio is going to cost, I presume, more than the Pro. 
And also, the headsets are going to cost a hell of a lot of money. We already know how much the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive cost. So if you got an extra six to eight hundred bucks, yeah, pretty much you bought yourself a high-powered PC. So I mean, I don't know. It's all speculation at this point. But I'm excited to see what they're going to do in the future. I want to see what the Xbox Scorpio actually is. We'll probably see it quarter three. Uh, 2017 and we see what this thing is capable of doing you guys let me know what you think in the comments below do you believe the hype is the xbox scorpio the true console that will be able to run high fidelity vr and true 4k gaming at 60 frames per second i don't know it sounds exciting though let me know what you guys think in the comments be sure to give a thumbs up to show support for the channel join the facebook group follow me on twitter and visit beastlygamer.com to keep up with me i'm the beastly gamer i'll see you guys next time Let it go, pay my body go, make our bodies high.